Although it's sunny outside, we're not gonna tan, we're gonna talk about fiscal years. I know those of you who are in finance are salivating over this because we're gonna look at two things. Number one, how do I take a date and assign it to the right fiscal year? Number two, how do I filter my dashboard based on fiscal years? I'm gonna show you a very simple methodology and the beauty about this methodology is that you can apply it to any set of numbers and it will work no matter what is the start date of your fiscal year. So let's go and learn this trick. We start with our data set and it has a lot of individual dates and those are my fiscal years. If you notice, my fiscal year starts on the 1st of June and I have to map every date to the right fiscal year. Now, while I'm doing the boring part, which is adding a pivot table, you could go down, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. That would mean the world to me. Let's start. I'm just going to click inside, insert, pivot table. Let's put it in a new worksheet. And I'm just going to add here the items and the sales. Let's just color it a little bit. So design, go here and make it blue. I'm also going to go to view, remove the grid lines to make it nicer. And I'm going to just copy paste this table. So control C, control V. And here I don't want the items. What I want to put is the fiscal year. Obviously, we don't have anything in fiscal year, so it's blank. Let's add our slicer. So we go to the first table, right click here, add a slicer. And again, surprise, surprise, we have nothing. We need to make sure that this is connected to both tables. To do this, right click, report connections and select the second pivot table. There we go, the boring part is over. Now let's think, how can I map every date? If you try a normal VLOOKUP, equal VLOOKUP, open parenthesis, lookup value, it's my date, comma, this is my table array, comma, I need the third column, comma, and usually we want an exact match, so false, close parenthesis, press enter. The problem is, Unless the date is the exact date that we have here, it's not gonna work, it's gonna explode in my face. So what is the trick here? Let me show you. You come and instead of false, you put true. Press enter, you get something. You double click, you get all the mapping done. Why? Well, let me explain to you and I'm gonna show you how to apply this trick on something else also. So stay tuned till the end. The reason why this works is I am putting the dates in chronological order. So the smallest date, which is the 1st of June 2020 is here. Then you have 1st of June 2021 and 22. So what will happen? Whenever I'm going to get a date, it's going to go to this table. Let's take one of them. For example, we have the 1st of May 2022. So what it will do, it will go to this table it will find the biggest date that is smaller or equal to this date. In this case, this is the 1st of June 2021 because this one is bigger than the 1st of May 2022. So this is why it will take FY 2022. So if we go back to our pivot tables, just right click, refresh, everything is there. So now I can filter, everything is working perfectly. Now let me show you how you can apply this trick to anything. I have here another table. I'm just gonna bring it a bit closer. And what we are gonna do is try to bucket those sales. So I can use the same technique. Equal, V, lookup, open parenthesis. This is my value. And here we are gonna select those three columns, comma three, comma, instead of false, you put true approximate match and there we go you get c this is because again i have put my values in ascending order 